In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to show you how to do slow motion edit effects on your project. I was asked by a subscriber to do that with footage that was shot at 60 frames per second. Unfortunately, my camera can't do 60 frames per second. It does 60 interlaced, which is in effect 30 frames per second. And I downloaded some video from Dig Digital Juice originally shot in 60 frames per second, but it wasn't delivered at that frame rate. So if I do find some true footage I can get, uh, I will redo the video and show you that. But the technique is the same, so let's look at slow motion in PowerDirector. What I have is a clip of uh, these two knocking the soccer ball around. And let's say I want to make part or all of it slow motion. How do I do that? I'll click on the Tools menu and I'll click on Power Tools. And then I click the fourth option down in my Power Tools menu called Video Speed. Check the box and then I select the Speed Adjustment button. This brings me to a whole new screen called the Video Speed Designer. Let me describe this for a second. What you have is a preview screen up here. You can play it or pause it. You can move forward or backward by one frame at a time if you wish. And you can fast forward. Uh, you also have the option of clicking on this gear. And the default is that it will remove the audio. Now the reason it it wants to do that is because usually if unless you're going to make a very small change in the speed of the video the audio is not very good <laughs> uh, it sounds rather odd so I just tend to leave this at this option and not worry about the other choices here so uh, that's what we have on settings and then on the bottom we have um, something called time shift we'll get into that in a moment and then you also have this option to view the entire movie or you can use the scale button here to see uh, larger parts of it or some or all of it you can use the slider here to move from frame to frame if you want or you can just reset it by clicking back here so that gives me the way in which I can view my clip that I'm going to edit here in slow motion now this tool works for slow and fast motion but we'll apply it to slow motion right now um, and it can work on the whole clip or part of it so let's look at those two options when I'm going to uh, slow it down that will make it longer so if for example if I want to make a minor tweak this clip is 16 seconds and one frame if I say, you know, I, I need it to really be 17 seconds long, so all I need to do is type in 17 here, and it will make it a little bit longer, which means it will make it slower. So it automatically calculated the speed here uh, when I changed the video duration. And if I was going to make that small of a change, I could leave the audio active if I wanted to. But the speed multiplier on the slow side goes from the default, and you can click the button to always move back for default, of normal speed all the way up to one-tenth of normal speed. And then you can go ahead with the slider and give you uh, any combination you want. Let's make it like about half normal speed. We'll go there, and we also could highlight over this, use the up and down arrow, or actually edit the numbers in the box. So now my entire clip is half the speed, but notice it's twice the length. It was 1601, now it's 3202. So if I go ahead and play it in the preview window, I can now see the entire clip that I've uh, taken the speed and cut it in half. So that gives me one option here. We'll stop this here. We'll do a reset. So that's as easy as it is to take an entire clip and change the speed. But lots of times we just want to change part of the clip. So now we'll click on the Selected Range tab at the top. When I do that, I can create a time shift. I can click on this button or this button, and it will do the same thing. But the first thing I want to do is know where do I want my time shift. Well, uh, I, can, I can move the slider down here into the location I want. And here again, it will give me the, the location within my clip. Uh, 
let's go to let's say two fr uh, two seconds here and then I can click cr either of these buttons to create a time shift I'm going to do that right now and now I've created a time shift with no multiplier it's 1.0 and the duration here is um, one second and 20 frames so I'm going to make it longer let's go to um, well let's do right here and I, I lengthened it to three full seconds and so now my my position indicator start, ends at five seconds on the original so I've got a three second shift now let's cut it down by 50 percent just because it's easy to do the math and now you notice the duration is six seconds okay this is of the time shift so now we're going to go back and move the playhead either by moving it here or moving it here back before and we'll go ahead and play it and you'll watch it slow down and then speed up there it slows down half speed for three okay and then it speeds up again and we're back to normal and so that's how the functions work you can also do an ease in with your multiplier and an ease out uh, which will slightly adjust it even more so if I go ahead and play it's hard at this speed to notice the change but there's a little bit of a, uh, a, a benefit there with ease in and ease out so um, it looks like it did change it by nine frames by the way so this is what you can do now if you if you don't like this time shift you want to get rid of it you can just click on the garbage can and it will go away but the other thing I can do I'll create a time shift here and make it roughly half speed we'll go uh, we'll go approximate and then I'll move over here and I'll create another time shift and I'll make this much slower go back here create another time shift and we'll make it just slightly slower oops I need to do create time shift here slightly slower and of course you can edit the length of it too if you want so if I go ahead and uh, click back here we'll play the video we have normal speed then it slows down just for a bit then we go back to normal and then it slows down quite a bit much longer and then it gets back to normal and then we go in it just for a very brief minute slows down again and this gives you the multiplier so anything under one means it's slowing down and we'll click on OK so it's a really nice way to change the the speed using the slow motion features in CyberLink PowerDirector